Hey, good morning. It is Wednesday time for our video follow through for today. I'm Pastor Fred and it is great to be here today. We are in Romans 12 all week long. Uh, such a great and powerful uh, section in scripture. Um, uh, Paul began the, the, in verse 9 and 10 talking about how we love each other, how we treat each other. And today he's going to talk about our time, uh, which really is not our time, is it? It's God's time. Um, this is the life he has given to us uh, to use as he would have us use it. And, and, and the amazing thing is that when I do things his way and when I see it that way, when I see my life as his life given to me as a gift to be used for his glory, well then it just takes on a whole different thing. And so um, I'm not saying that I'm going to jump out of bed every day and, you know, and have it be like, uh, you know, some kind of Disney musical uh, with, you know, with little birds chirping around and, and singing with me. And, you know, it's not always going to be that way. There's going to be days where I'm tired, where I'm, you know, kind of disappointed or, or struggling. Um, but but Paul is, gives us kind of a, a, a bit of a boost today. Uh, and he says in, in verse 11 of Romans 12, he says, he says, look, don't be slothful in zeal, right? Those are, those are really kind of opposites, aren't they? To act like a sloth who is just so slow, it's almost like he's in slow motion, like he is, you know, like, like every movement is, is just, seems almost painful. And, um, but zeal is something very different. It's, it's where, where you're like, okay, I am, I'm just excited about what's going on. And I'm, I'm going to attack this with all that I have. And so he's saying th that's how we should be given what God has done for us, given who he is and how he loves us. Right. It's all about, you know, just getting excited about that. And I know, and, and again, what, and when I say excitement, I'm talking about just beyond emotion because emotion will trick you. Um, and, and so if, if you only do things when you feel like it, that's going to be tough. That's a bad motivation. Um, again, he, he, he continues. He says, be fervent, right? The word fervent, having zeal. He says, serve the Lord. He says, rejoice in hope. Be patient in tribulation. Be constant in prayer and contribute to the needs of the saints and seek to show hospitality. So if we're ever looking for like, well, what does a picture of the Christian life look like uh, right here? And it goes way beyond emotion. It's say, he's saying, look, look at what God ha like dials in every day. The, the ability to make a difference in people's lives, n not just financially or, or maybe that might be the thing, but, but even financial help that you're giving to somebody or, or some kind of business advice or, or uh, you know, maybe at school you're helping somebody. It, it's, it's always beyond just that, isn't it? Because you're seeking to make a difference for eternity. And so you're hoping that any kind of help you can give in any way is going to remind them that God is with them, remind them that God loves them, that he died for them. And so that's how we approach things. And that's how we can be fervent, right? That all these words are, are so intense, in, 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 right? And so he's saying in terms of, of the spirit of how you do it and realize you having, have actually the Holy Spirit serve him that way. And, and, I, and I think it's interesting that he even has to mention this, that we would rejoice in hope. I think the problem is that we just forget. We forget that we have hope. We forget the spirits in us. We forget that we're here to serve God and, and, and that we're to have this zeal and that we're to be patient when things go south, patient when we, when we hit tribulation, when we hit these bumps in the road that are, that are, that are more like craters and, and, they're, and they're more like, you know, something that's just going to destroy me. No, he says, be patient, like, wait, God's got you. He's got people that are here to help you. And so keep praying. Be, in fact, be constant as you pray. And, and, and just everything you have and everything you do, see it as, as a way to help the fellow brothers and sisters in the faith that you have and the people around you. Again, that's what our time looks like. That's what each day is to look like. So I pray that, that we would again be, be praying, that we'd be fervent and, and, and know that we've got the Spirit and know that we are working for God, serving Him each day. All right, have a great rest of your Wednesday. We'll see you tomorrow for another follow-through.